So welcome ladies and gentlemen as we advance into the quarterfinals of the European Championship. So we are officially out with Austria. Yeah, we got to the round of 16 with them, but we couldn't do any more. Not a great team to play with, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. So today it's Poland against Croatia. I mean, if we get to the final with Poland and we get to the final with France, we could play each other. Uh, then we've got Switzerland taking on Portugal. That could really go either way. England are playing Belgium. Uh, once again, England apparently on a great run of form. So that could go either way. And then France against Slovakia. Slovakia didn't look too bad against Austria, but the French, we know, are very, very dominant. So let's take a look at what we're going to be going for today. Remember, we are playing with level support off, guys. If I had it set to 1-2 bar, yeah, I could play Tick Attack of Football, and I'd probably win these games hands down. But this is what makes it more of a challenge, especially on PC with this patch. The AI are playing more attacking, more aggressive, close you down, pass it and move. Uh, and it's what I like about it. So this is what we're going to be going for. Luckily, everyone really up for it. Paz Dan will be back in the side. Uh, Jendriak, I think that's how you call his name now. Uh, he's going to be playing uh, on the right-hand side. Or, or I think I, when I saw his name, it was like Yen J. Shik. I think that's how it's pronounced. So we'll see how we do with that one. Uh, Kriavak with Zelensky, Grzycki, or Grzycki, uh, Blaszczykowski, Milik, and Lewandowski. Milik actually has three goals this competition. So watch out for him. There's Croatia, full of a lot of quality. This is not going to be easy. This could be our last game with Poland if we don't pull our finger out. I mean, they've got Rakitic. They've got uh, Brozovic, Mandzukic, Modric, for some reason, is playing as right midfielder. Uh, but at least he's in there. So there we go. That is the two teams. It will be the usual settings that we do. Always superstar, always 12-minute games. And I'm looking forward to this. This should be a good game. Hopefully a lot of chances and we don't cancel each out too much. Uh, the kit's looking very nice. Yeah, we'll give Croatia the nice blue one. Now let's get into it. So the quarterfinals brings us a lot of tension between these two teams. Poland at taking on Croatia. And we're hoping for an absolute classic here. There's a lot of good players on show. Robert Lewandowski versus Mandzukic. Who will come out on top? Well, we're going to find out in at least 90 minutes time. Jantiak. Blasikowski. Played inside. Milik. Looking for Robert Lewandowski. Does get ahead of his man. Vida. Similar challenge to, to what Blasikowski did earlier on. The referee gave the foul for that one. Not for this one. Blasikowski flying in on it. That's a poor pass. Perisic, a bit of defending, plays it up the line, Blasikowski, Zelinski, it's a, it's a very scrappy game, both teams can't really get a groove going, sounds good, well, nicely done, lays it near post, Perisic, just wide of the post, best chance of the game, only chance of the game so far, did well to get it out of his feet, but it's a tough volley. And Chesney comfortable that it was heading wide. Brozovic goes short. Schneidenfeld. Modric. It's comfortable for Chesney. Well, at the moment, you'd probably say Croatia looking the more comfortable. Can't really break through Poland at the moment. Having a hard time of it. Kriovac, well played. Zelinski. Kuziki. Bosniak, ball up the line. Looking for Robert Lewandowski. Didn't happen. Got three minutes to play of the first half. It's been very dull when it comes to chances. Ball's put through. Perisic! And just as we say that... It's the Croatians who take the lead with a lovely work move. And Poland got caught with the trousers down around their ankles. I mean, this right-hand side, Croatia have dominated this half. They've not been able to contain them. And you can see this time Perisic wants it, calls for it. It's a perfectly weighted ball and a good finish. And 43 minutes is taken. 
finally have a goal. Foden just hasn't looked good enough. Oh, wait a minute. It's going to be Milik. And what a pal that for an instant reply. But Croatia, you cannot score a goal and then just completely shut down. Well, there's no surprise the manager for the Croatian team is, is up fuming. I mean, look at this ball. It's just one ball through the middle. They haven't done this all game. And suddenly they do. And it is Milik who picks up, I think it's his fourth goal in the tournament. We have too much on. Kriavak. Milik. He won't be afraid to run with it. This one straight into Vida. He's had a good game at the back. Strignik. There you go, Croatia. Quick give and goes. Blasikowski's won it. Here's Milik. Blasikowski again. Well, there's a lot of space here. He lays it forward. It's going to be Milik. Tried to lay it back. He'll have a go from that angle. And it is a corner. Substitution. Cerner has come on. 15 minutes to play. It's in towards Lewandowski. Can he get there? Hoff nearly. Smashed away for a throw. A lot of space here for Zielinski. Terrible place to, to defend. It's going to be Zielinski with a deflected strike. Lashikovsky couldn't get on the end of it. Pedersic. That's a good ball. And Mandzukic is on the end of this. Will he get the strike away? Yes, he will. Croatia lead. Two goals to one. In the final 10 minutes, it was just a counter. A long ball over the top. Poland got caught for the second time. They pushed so many players forward. And Mandzukic, I mean, he had the pace here to get away from Glick. And this touch was brilliant right out of his feet. I think it comes off the old twig and giggle berries. And then into that bottom corner. Well, Poland are bringing on Stepinska. And we have 13 minutes left to play. And Poland have to go for it now. They've got to come from behind for a second time. Simple as that. Blasikowski lost possession. It was just one long break, wasn't it? Right over the top. And they lost it. And here could be a chance for Robert Lewandowski. Can he get ahead of his man? Not quite. And will win the throw. Blasikowski. Great turn by him, delivered in towards Stepinski! Oh, what about that for a header? His first touch, a <laughs> Poland a level. That is unreal. Oh, that's a brilliant turn from Blasikowski, but the header is simply sublime. Away from the goal into the corner. Ho oh, oh. ho. Now Poland do it again for the second time, this time the lead lasted three or four minutes as opposed to just one. And suddenly, Poland are on the ascendancy. Lewandowski's just completely taken out his man. Surely that would be a yellow. That was a horrendous challenge. Glick. Zielinski will get there ahead of his man. And he'll bring it forward. Blasikowski, I think he's just about onside. Will the cross be another pinpoint one? It's in towards Lewandowski, off, and that will be a corner. Another beautiful ball in, and it's Lewandowski going for the spectacular. I think it was goalbound. There's no surprise that Blasikowski comes across to take this corner. It's into towards Stepinska, Lewandowski, will he get a second go at it? He's missed it, Malik, ho oh ho, Poland have done it. Three goals to two. It is Milik with his second goal of the game. And what about this for a match? Absolutely mental. Blasikowski's balls in today have been simply the best they can. And this is a complete shambles from Croatia. They missed the first header. The second header deflected. Lewandowski misses it. Header back in. And Milik flicks it over the keeper. Oh, Poland has shown you what they can do. And why you don't write them off, no matter what the circumstances. 
That's not a great clearance. I'm not sure what he's doing there, but he's given away a corner. And now Poland are going to have to defend. Four minutes of stoppage time. Rakitic, decent ball in. Oh, cleared off the line by Chesney. It's another corner. And uh, oh, the keeper's up. It's delivered in. And it's far too close to Chesney. And there's no one in goal. It's a long clearance. Robert Lewandowski nearly got the header. And Poland may just steal another one here. Cerner, you've got to get rid of it. He's still playing around with it. He's got to hit it long. Finally, he does so. And here's a chance for Rakitic. Has Dan trying to get there? Ball's put through the middle. And that will surely be the last chance of the game. Chesney gets it out. There's the full-time whistle. And what a comeback from Poland. They trail by a goal to nil. 1-1. 2-1 down. 2-2. And Milik comes to the rescue. He is, I think, nearly top scorer in the tournament. Eight shots to five. Croatia with a little bit more possession. Man of the match was Milik. So let's have a look at the results. And as you can see, Switzerland knocked out Portugal. Wow, so we definitely have a chance now. I would have loved to play Ronaldo in the semi-finals, but unfortunately that's not going to be the case. But Belgium did beat England by a goal to nil. So it is all to play for, isn't it? Up next is France against Slovakia. Let's have a quick look at the top goal scorers there. Milik has three. How does that work? Oh, because it hasn't, it hasn't completed the... Uh, the whole round yet once it does so Milik's going to go up to five so he's going to be in second place got a chance to win top goal scorer there but we will be back with France against Slovakia what a game it was what a game I thought we were beaten but bouncing back we'll be back with France versus Slovakia and until next time take care